he saw that there is many debates and church are splitting, fighting each other. That's the whether who is the son and who is the father in, in, in the father and son relation. What's the relation between the father and son? Are they co-equal? Are son created by the father? Or the father and the son have same knowledge, same essence, same eternity? Or are they different? So there was two opinions. One was opinion came from the Arias. Arias was the, one of the greatest uh, scholar uh, in Alexandria, Egypt. And another scholar, uh, Christian church father named uh, Alexander. He's from Alexandria as well. So they both debated with this topic. That's the whether son, meaning Jesus, is the co-equal with the father or not. So then what happened that Nicene Council of Church in 325 CE, yeah, they decided in Nicene Council of Church, this the father and the son, both are God and co-equal. Can you imagine 300 years after Jesus, they are deciding this, Jesus is the God. Then what happened in 345, around 340 to 345 CE, the son of Constantine, who made this decision that the father and son are co-equal, goes against this view and he believed this the Jesus was not co-equal with the father he believed Jesus was create was a creation and Jesus was created by uh, from the father by the father then in year 381 CE Constantinople Council of Church they came and said no the father son and the Holy Spirit three are God and from this point you get the idea that the Trinity Father Son and the Holy Spirit are God did you see the how long it takes for the Christians to come to this idea and it's, it's the idea which goes against the teaching of Jesus I can show you I j just showed it from the Bible what Jesus said that's the reason we are rejecting the idea that Jesus is the God or the Son of God. Son, as I said, Son of God doesn't necessarily mean He's God. It's just a title was used for the other uh, other prophet as well. So what we are saying is that we are accepting Jesus as He is. We are not insulting Jesus. We are not exalting Jesus. We are accepting as He is. Very simple. We, are, we believe He will come back again. He's the Messiah. He will come back again to establish the kingdom of God. We believe all the things. You see, so we are not anti Christ, and some people say if you believe uh, if you believe in Islam, maybe you are going against the Jesus. No, you are coming closer to the Jesus, as Jesus said. This, the I have to say many things, but you can't take. There will be someone else, right? And if you look the Isaiah 42, uh, chapter 14 where it says that there will be someone else come, one other prophet will come, he will rejoice the Kedar. So, uh, specifically said the Kedar, Kedar is the tribe of uh, Ishma Ishmaelites, yeah? tribe of Ishmaelites from the Abraham, he will Kedar. And then what it says, he, uh, he this verse in Isaiah 42, it says this, the, this person, the prophet, will rejoice uh, the Selah, people of Selah. People of Selah, if you if you find it in the Google, if you just search it, you will see Selah is the mountain in Medina, in Saudi. So there is no prophet except the Prophet Muhammad in the Medina. So it's very clear, it's talking about the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So what we are saying, sister, is that Islam is very simple. The difference between Islam, Christianity and Judaism is as follows. There's the Judaism taking Moses and rejecting Jesus and the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him upon them and being kind of extremist in terms of theological sense by rejecting two of the greatest prophet Christianity they're accepting Jesus but they're exalting Jesus at the level of God whether Jesus never claimed to be God and in Islam and they're rejecting Prophet Muhammad as well Christianity and in Islam we do have the idea and the tolerance idea is that you have to believe every prophet to be a Muslim. For example, in the Quran, you will find a verse where it says, "The land farriqu bayna ahadim min rusuli." In the there is many chapter in Surah Al Al Imran, Surah Al Baqarah, and if you go to the end of the surah, second chapter, it will say, "La nufarriqu bayna ahadim min rusuli." There's a mu'min who believe in Allah, who believe in one God. They will not differentiate, making any distinction between the prophets. They will believe and accept all the prophets. And the one pillar of our belief 
within the sixth pillar is وَكُتُبِهِ وَرُسُلِهِ We believe all the previous kitab, meaning the scripture, came to the Prophet and we believe all the prophets and messengers as well. That's the fundamental belief of Muslim. If someone says, I don't believe this, he cannot be Muslim. Very simple. You see, and we believe the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, came with the last message and said the same things that Jesus said, the worship to only true God. Don't associate partner, don't associate son, daughter, children with the God. Just worship to only one true God. And in chapter 114, uh, 112, it says, There is said, God is one. Allah is Samad. God is self-sufficient and doesn't depend on anyone. God doesn't have father or mother or any children. And that there is nothing equivalent to the Creator. You see, does it make sense? Very sound reasoning, yeah? What do you think? You believe in one God, right? Would you accept Jesus as messenger and prophet? Yes. Would you accept Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as a messenger and prophet? Yes. Okay. If you accept these two things, one called Tawheed, which is oneness of the Creator, oneness of God, believing one God, and another called the Risala. Risala meaning except the prophecy and messengership that all the prophets came. If, if you believe all these two things, you are your faith is the faith of Muslim. So you can testify in, in Arabic, which is say, I believe in one God, and I believe Prophet Muhammad is the last messenger, and you can become Muslim. If you say it in Arabic, you can become Muslim, then you can start practicing step by step. Is that okay? Yeah, all right. So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And once you take the Shahada... I know, but I would like to do it with my wife, the private, this thing. To become, to become a Muslim. Because she knows, she yeah. wants to know better, you know. Yeah. She, 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 she wants to learn step by step, you know. Because if she's going to come like this for one day to change everything, she's going to no, 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 be it's very not, hard for her. And it's not, it's not changing everything. What, what you're saying is just step by step, yeah. Not, much better to, to learn first step by step how I'm gonna how she was gonna see me, how I'm gonna pray, how I'm gonna uh, salat uh, yeah, yeah. this kind of clean and after after when she's ready hundred percent she's gonna say I want to become a Muslim and so much easier. Okay, so what what we are saying is this the Muslim obviously as you know this is the testimony and the action of becoming Muslim, yeah. then you will do action step by step. For yeah, example, step step. we have yeah. For example, we have many Sahaba who just became Muslim and then they died in the war field, right? They didn't pray one time in their entire life. Yeah. What we are saying, if she accepts the basic things, the fundamentals, as you know, yeah, there's know. the oneness of God and Risala, she can take Shahada and as a husband, yeah. you can teach her step by step. I know. All right. We want to do this yeah. in private. Okay, so you want to do the shahada in private. What I'm saying, sister, do it in private, but don't make any delay, yeah? As she's accepting everything, don't make it delay. Okay, okay, thank you, brother. No problem. Do you have any question about Islam or anything? All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, alhamdulillah, there is a good discussion with this sister and uh, her uh, partner as well. And uh, uh, I believe uh, she was ready, but she, her uh, husband, I believe, she, he's saying they will take it in private. May Allah accept it. May Allah give our guidance. Uh, may Allah forgive our sins. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum.